So imagine you and your friend are just sitting and chatting and he dares you to build a compass. How do you do that? You're about to find out. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be building a compass. But let's look at first how a compass works. Our Earth is like a giant magnet. It has a magnetic field all around it, invisible to our eyes. This field is created by the movement of molten iron deep inside the Earth's core. This field extends far outside into space and even influencing the northern lights. It acts like a shield, protecting us from harmful radiation from the sun. And this magnetic field is what makes a compass work. The needle is a compass, aligns with the magnetic field, always pointing towards the magnetic north. For centuries, explorers and navigators have relied on the simple yet powerful tool to find it. At heart, it magnetic needle. It spins freely around the pivot point. This needle has north and south poles. It aligns with the Earth's magnetic field. Think of a way as a tiny dancer. The Earth's magnetic field is the dancer's floor. It helps them as the dim direction. Magnetic north and true north are not the same. True north is a fixed point where all lines of magnitude can converge. Magnetic north moves over time due to its changes in Earth's core. The difference between them is called declination. Start by getting all your materials you will need, which is a paper clip, a knife, a cork, and a water source. And don't forget your magnet. The first step is to cut a coin sized piece of your cork. Remember to keep your fingers out of the saw or nice way. It should look something like this. The next step is take your paper clip and unbend it. Then look for the right length so that the piece of metal is just longer than the piece of cork. It should look something like this. The next step is to take your piece of paper clip and slide it across the magnet. Please do the sliding formation in the same direction the whole time. Please use this magnet instead of this one, otherwise it won't work. Do this for about 2 minutes. And finally, take your water and place your cork on top of the water so that it floats. Next, take your pin and rest it on top of the cork in the middle. And now, leave it about for a minute or so, so that it has a chance to take the north and south poles. As you can see, it does work, but it isn't perfect. In this video we discussed how compasses work and how to build your own. If you liked this video please don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating science content. See you guys next time.